Hello, everyone. Once again, I am here with a training that will be very useful for you. Thank you for your interest in my content. We have created a very nice community in a short time. Most of those who are still watching my content are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribing to the channel and liking the video gives me great motivation to produce this content. Thank you also for all your comments. I'll answer all of them. Feel free to write your excellent comments. Today, I will show you some useful things about finishing and penalty area actions that many people complain about and struggle with. In this year's game, there are too many opponents in the penalty area and almost all your shots are blocked. As I mentioned in my other videos, the most important thing in this game is to stay calm. You don't need to know a lot of skills or use very good techniques. We will just stay calm and work on your opponent, not guessing you. Let's move on to examples. Let's start with a simple example. As I have seen in the comments and in the game, many people cannot control the ball in the penalty area and cannot find the right position to shoot from. Look at how I create space using only the directional keys. Here, for example, we're going in from the wing like everyone else this year. I'm calmly looking for a passing opportunity. I'm not in a hurry. Our opponent is closing very well. If I try to pass or shoot in a hurry, our opponent is sure to block it. I try to annoy and distract the opponent with small, sure passes. Look at the way I move in the penalty area, and the result. I want to show you something. Be careful where you give the ball to the person who receives it. Stay away from playing by rote. In this position, I'm just trying to control the ball by taking it to places my opponent isn't expecting. Another very good example. We're behind in the shootout. We don't have a panic. We only have possession. We don't use R1 dribbling or any other skill. We just try to be patient and keep the ball away from the opponent. And eventually our opponent will get distracted and tired of switching and we will score the goal. Remember, the more you make your opponent switch, the more space you will find. An interesting position. Virgil is incredible on the wing. If I shoot at the first moment, it will definitely be deflected. Don't get excited and be patient. You know that if you are in a hurry and excited to score, your opponent will be impatient and excited to get rid of this attack. Let him make the mistake. In this example, we frustrate our opponent so much by not giving him the ball in a short space of time that look what happens. A little power shot fake. Then I just navigate with the arrow keys. Look at the opponent's switching errors. Who do you think is getting excited in this position? Of course, you should favour players with good dribbling skills for this freedom of movement. Another pose and again silence. We just go with Griezmann and we get the goal. A lot of coaching videos talk about R1 dribbling into the penalty area, but when you dribble R1, your player loses his balance, if only for a very short moment. And because everyone uses this technique, the opponents are waiting. R1 dribbling is very powerful, yes, but it can make you very unbalanced in the penalty area. The next video will be about the correct use of the R1 dribble and then I will explain how to find these positions more easily. What do you do inside the penalty area to score goals? Has this content helped you score more goals? Don't forget to leave me all your questions and thoughts in the comments. In the last video, we aimed for 1,000 likes for 1,000 members. Do you think we can achieve that in this video? If we do, 
there will be a big surprise for you. See you soon.